So I just installed the uh, the door handles. These are normally uh, meant for furniture to glide around the floor. But one right here looks pretty good. It's not, a, not too out of place at all. Maybe it's got something to grab onto. But more importantly, on the inside, uh, very often he wants to close his door and he has nothing to grab onto, so now he does. So I'm using um, goop rather than um, plastic glue. And the reason why you want automotive glue, sorry, automotive goop, is because it's permanent, or as permanent as you can get for what it does. If I use the plastic stuff, that can be uh, peeled off. I had to uh, do a little bit more reconstruction inside. I wanted to um, secure the hood. And I'm using this right now on the outside to keep it, uh, This has been okay, but I find there's a, a panel gap up here in here, so maybe this isn't as tight as I I'd like it to be. Yeah, I wouldn't mind it being a bit tighter. Anyways, um, I couldn't secure it in the inside, so now I'm, I'm using this, which comes from... Uh, these things. So I've installed the fog lights. Right. And there's the wire for it to be, uh, this is actually pretty ghetto. I need to fix this, it looks terrible. So hindsight, uh, I probably should have drilled in earlier and not messed with it around with the sticker. I thought with the sticker I could hide it, but obviously that looks terrible. Ugh. I might have to buy another uh, sticker here to fix that. Or try to rebuild this with actual like metals and stuff like that. Anyways, yeah. So the um, there's a plastic piece that comes with this, a rubber piece, and that's this here. So in that way, I kind of do. Rec I didn't like this at first, but it's been growing on me, and I I do accept it. And there's the reflectors here and here, and along the side. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I'm using this now to keep it together. So I'm thinking I might need something a bit more tighter, more permanent. And if I need to get a longer screw maybe, um, just to go in further so it doesn't move uh, in a couple months, then I might do that. That's an easy fix. Anyways, it's, um, yeah, it doesn't look bad actually. It looks, I wasn't sure at first, but, um, I actually kind of like this. I've seen like body kits that have this sort of thing on it. Yeah. Anyways, if not, I'll try something else. I was thinking of like a, a zip tie. That might work okay. And then uh, just replace it every time I need to open it up. Anyways, uh, yeah, so as it is right now, the UE boom is inside. It's been mounted. Um, all the wires, every single thing has been connected to the uh, electrical power outlet, which is here, I think. No, here. Here, there it is. So when I plug that in, everything charges. Um, all the front lights, all the rear lights, and uh, I've also added a battery. It's actually right down here. And the battery is a 10,000 milliamp battery, which will be in the descriptions below. And uh, the battery connects, it has one um, charging port to go from a USB to it. And then it has uh, two USB out. And those two USBs go to the headlights. That's a big deal. I absolutely love um, having these headlights on for longer. Because currently, uh, if you buy these, you'll get about maybe 45 minutes to an hour out of the lights and then they die. So it's kind of disappointing. I really like having those lights always active. So with a 10,000 milliamps battery um, behind these two lights specifically, I could run these for like four or five hours easily. I love that idea. Love it. Anyways, his truck's coming along really well. <laughs> 